All right, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how we can convert an image sequence to a movie, a QuickTime movie, in After Effects. So here's After Effects. I've uh, turned it on, and the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new composition and give our new composition a name. This is going to be my snow globe uh, sequence. And depending on how we, what size we rendered it in, in Maya, uh, you would want to do something to match there. I'm going to go with a DV format. That's a 4 by 3 aspect ratio as opposed to a widescreen. It depends, again, on how you rendered it out. Um, the frame rate, I'm going to go for a 24 here and hit. And the duration, that's how long it is. Uh, we'll come back to that. Uh, so, uh, so you have a new composition. You can see snow globe sequence. Nothing's here. We have a pink background. If you go to composition, you can change the background color to something else. Um, and likely, whatever you bring in will cover that up anyway, unless your frames happen to have transparency. Which, uh, so for this project, I'm just going to pull up the. It, snow globe sequence I'd done earlier and to do that you have your project area where your files is this is what you view and this is these are your layers and your timeline so I'm going to right click in here and go to import file and I'm going to go find my Maya image sequence and it's in my online modeling class I'm in my images folder now when you render your sequence out it's good to remember where you <laughs> you save that uh, it's gonna be hard to render it out if you don't know where it is so and you don't have to select all the frames you just select the first frame and then you make sure and uh, make sure the sequence button is selected okay mine's an IFF sequence after Effects does support IFFs after I think CS4 so you, uh, you can also do JPEGs or PNGs or other types. Uh, IFFs do support transparency um, and I'm just going to go straight unmatted and while well, I brought it in and why didn't it show it? Well it's not in the project this is just imported footage that we can use for the project so I'm going to take this and just drag that into my project Oh, I'm trying to drag the composition. I need to drag the image sequence and pull it in. All right. I have a little bit of resizing to do, and I, I can scale it up so it fits. And uh, there you go. It's it's in. So the next thing we need to do is figure out how long this is. And mine ends at four exactly. So I'm going to stop it at. 323 is where I'm going to stop it. So we'll go back to my composition settings and on the duration I'm going to make this uh, 323. Hit OK. And notice now it, it goes through the whole thing. Alright. Now once we're, we're here uh, we need to open our, if you don't see a render queue tab, you can go into the window and open it up right here. Um, and once you're satisfied with this, you go and use, now you do pull your composition into the render queue. Uh, you want to give it an output name. I'm call it snow globe sequence dot movie. Give it a place. I'm saving to the desktop. Uh, you can go into the render settings and change your quality and output we can change this um, and in your format options I can change the compression type a, a good one to go with is H264 24 frames a second uh, I'm going to go with that please choose it directly from the output module instead of via QuickTime. 
think we're in the output module, so this is good. Um, there we go. Hit OK. We know it's saving to our desktop, so now we're ready. And all you do is, uh, if you want to go ahead and check it and make sure everything's OK, my almost four seconds of glory here, and then go to render queue and hit render. And this appeared on my desktop. And once it's done, I get a little sound in the and this is what I just rendered. I double clicked it and this is what I have. And this is interpreted straight from that image sequence I just I just had. So that's how you would create a QuickTime movie using After Effects. And that's how you do it. Hope this helped.